Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to containerize the Go application. So we will first create a simple server and then we will build the image. Later we will learn how to reduce the image size using multi-stage build. This process is applicable for all type of application. If you have the Node.js application Python, in all kind of application you can follow this. By changing the base image and command, you can build it. So with that note, let's build it. To follow with the tutorial, Install the docker to your system. For that just go to the docker install, uh, install docker engine and as per your OS like uh, either it is Linux, Mac OS or Windows, just install it. So you'll get all the instruction here like what are the system requirement and other things. So we are inside the go container directory. So let's just start with the initializing the go module. To initialize it, I'm just going to use go mod in it and go app. Simple. Okay. And uh, for a dependency, we are going to use a go.env package to read the environment variable. To install it, use go get and uh, github.com slash zoho slash go.env. So the reason to have a dependency so that we can mimic a little bit of the real scenarios. So once the dependency is added, uh, we can create the main.go and add our code. We are going to create a very simple server which will have one route and which will return hello and whatever message we will pass to it using the environment variable package main func main so we need the http dot handle func and our route is going to be slash and we are going to create a simple uh, function which will receive a one response writer and the request using response writer we are going to send the response and the request is like uh, if we are sending any uh, data to it using the post body or the query and all those things so in this case we don't need anything to return the response we are going to simply write in the response writer first thing going to be the write header with the http status code we are going to use the status ok and a message w dot write and message is going to be hello and whatever env we will pass it get env os dot get env and we will simply use msg we can create a simple dot env file and which will have a message equals to suppose bold okay uh, let's keep it in small case only and then in the function we can simply use the init functions like before our application start it should be able to load the environment variable so to load the environment variable we can use go.env dot load by default it read the dot env file so we don't have to give a file name and it will return an error so we'll just read it if error is not equals to nil then we'll just simply panic print a statement env load it simple and let's just start our server now so to start the server print like a simple message like server is starting at 3000 okay and we'll listen to 3000 using http dot listen and serve the port number is 3000 and the we don't have any router so we'll just keep it as nil that's it so let's just test it go run main dot go okay our env is loaded server is started so let's just test using curl command curl localhost 3000 okay so everything is working so now let's just dockerize it to dockerize it we have to create a docker file first so that we can build this particular application and then using that docker image we will run it inside a container so to build the image what we need is like we need a file called docker file okay to build any application you need first a base image like on top of what you are building it as it is our go application so we are going to use a golang image so for that simply use from golang and alpine uh, alpine is like a very a light version of golang okay and then we can say like a okay, working directory so for working directory we are going to use like slash app it is like a default directory for the operations or whatever come after it like if you are copying anything or the code which you are going to run it will run inside the slash app now let's just simply copy all the content like using copy dot and dot it will copy everything from here okay like this dot env go mod go some min dot go and then it will paste it inside this slash app directory using run command we can install or download all the dependencies whichever is present inside the go mod so we are using this zoho code.env so for that we just have to do run go mod 
download and after that uh, we can build this application so to build it go build and output going to be go app so for output file name use dash o and the file name so we are going to use go app and where we want to save it we want to save it in the existing directory so use just dot after building this executable will be saved inside this slash app directory application is going to serve on 3000 expose majorly used to document only like for which particular port this application will run and at last we have to use the command like when this particular image will run so which default command it has to execute so we are going to use the go app slash app go app our docker file is completed to build this docker file start the docker desktop first and then using docker build command docker build and then to tag this particular image like giving some name to this image what we can do we can use dash t which will add a tag to it so give a tag like go app uh, version 1 then the simply dot so dot it will tell like in this particular directory it has to check for the docker file and if there is no docker file name is mentioned then by default it takes docker file so then just build it so now our docker file is built use docker images command to see the build image so we can see our build image is go app and its tag is 1 and this is the image id and if you can see its size is 292 mb so in later part of it we'll see how to optimize it and make it light using docker run command we can run this particular image so docker run then the port number we have to give as we have exposed it on 3000 so we have to map this docker containers port to the machine's port dash p 3000 colon 3000 the first part signifies the machine's port and the later part signifies the docker port so if you want you can simply make it like uh, instead of 3000 you can make it like double four double four okay then image name with its tag so we it is go app and service listening at 3000 but this particular 3000 is of inside the docker container and we mapped this 3000 to double four double four so now to test it uh, simply use curl command curl localhost and double four double four so we can see like hello world it is working to stop the container use control c so right now it just stopped but it is still kind of uh, occupying the memory in the docker so to remove it completely you use docker ps minus a okay it will tell all the stopped containers and then using this container id use docker rm and then the container so now this is finally removed completely let's now optimize this particular image so if you remember our current image size is like 292 mb so now let's see using the multi build how we can reduce its size so in the multi stage we are going to use this particular thing okay uh, this complete build as a first stage and then whatever we have built it that particular build we will going to use into a second stage so it will be like whatever the uh, things it has downloaded and all those extra things it will not copy there it will only copy the build part whatever we, this go app which we are going to build so first we have to name this build so just use as as the uh, as the alias okay uh, and then give the build name so let's see like suppose stage one okay and then come here we don't need the command now and uh, expose also do we don't need now instead of using the golang alpine image which comes with lot of things like the complete go compiler and all those things so we don't need it because our application is already in the binary format so now we just have to run it so to run it we can use alpine image so use from alpine and then the working directory going to be suppose slash the next step is copying copying the binary so we have to tell first like from where we want to copy and using from flag we will tell okay stage one from stage one it has to copy and the source going to be slash app slash go app okay and we want to keep it inside this slash go app only okay then simply for documentation use expose and 3000 as the port number and lastly command command is going to be 
slash go app. So this is going to be our multi-stage Docker file. Now let's just build it. Again, the same thing, Docker build, then the tag name. So this time we can give it like go app uh, tag is two and then the current context. So here I just want to add something like suppose if you have multiple Docker files, like one is for this particular thing, the simple stage and one is for multi-stage. You can create another Docker file using same name docker file dot suppose multi okay so this is going to be another docker file and then just copy paste the complete thing and now instead of using the default docker file we can give the name also so for that use dash f as a file and then we will simply tell docker file dot multi and then use the dot to find uh, to tell it like where to find this docker file so we are in the same directory so you simply use dot and then just build it image is built so let's just see its size now so use docker images and now if you can see we have this go app tag 2 and its size is now reduced to 14.5 mb earlier it was 292 mb so this is the advantage of using multi stage and this is very handy when it comes to uh, reducing the size of your containers uh, or the image size in the production now if you will simply run it so use docker run before that just let's see if our yeah we have no stopped container docker run dash p double four double four colon three thousand and then we can simply give it as like go app colon two no such file or directory okay so we have to add one more thing uh, we only copied the go app but not the dot env so what we can do is like uh, we can simply add one more copy and use dot env in the dot env in this way okay let's build it again give the tag as three let's run it okay so now it is working so to test it simply curl localhost double four double four yeah it is working i hope you like this lecture so before we wrap up just uh, remove all the containers which is kind of running behind the scene or like which is in the stop stage so for that use docker ps dash a it will tell all the containers uh, which are in the exited state and then use simply docker rm and give the container ID and the another one also. Yeah. So all your dangling containers are now cleaned. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lecture.